next race is going to be race 24. Second time in two years, or second time in three years, excuse me, that El Toro is the Orange County yeah. champions. Uh, obviously, right. when you guys start the season, there are certain meets that you circle on the calendar that you really want to do well at, and it was obvious here today that you guys were the best team here. I'll start here on the end. If you could, uh, Casey, just take me through the feeling of accomplishment getting this championship this year. Um, you know, we were really, like, worried. Like, we were, like, going into it. We were just, like, wanting to, like, keep our eye on Canyon, and we are just racing to, like, get Canyon, and that was our goal, so it just felt good to get it. When you guys come in as one of the teams that people are kind of looking to, that you mentioned Canyon as being the, the team that people were kind of talking about winning, um, how good is it to know that they got a, maybe a lot of the hype, but you guys were able to execute and get the victory here today? It was definitely really good to know that we can still prove ourselves, especially in the rankings for state. Canyon was ahead of us. So we know this will probably change the state rankings, which obviously state is the ultimate goal for this season. And especially for um, me, Jess, and Grace, the seniors, like we really wanted to win OC and like end on a good year, on a good note. About to say, obviously an integral part, the last time you guys won here, what was different from that team as opposed to this team here? Well, that team, there was like maybe like there was two really good girls, and then the rest of the girls kind of fell back. But now we have like four or five really strong girls all together within like a gap of like 20 seconds or so at some races. So it's it's really good to have a tight pack this year. You mentioned tight pack. Um, you guys finished with a 36 second scoring gap here today, best among all the teams here in the race. How important and what does that say about the depth of the caliber of runners you guys have? I mean, it says a lot because other teams may have, like Lexi said, like two or like three or one, maybe like really fast girl, but we have, we have like packed it up at the front. So to get um, most of our team in front is just like crazy and it's incredible because like our other, our six and seven, they're not too far. So it's really nice, yeah. <laughs> Coach was mentioning uh, that this is a really tight group, that you guys are, are really tight and you guys really work hard for each other, for the team. Um, just talk about how special it is to kind of have that represented out here today. You guys win together as a group. How important is it to show that here? I mean, I feel like a lot of people, maybe they didn't think like, oh, El Toro's gonna win, but I think that we really showed everyone that by working together and just like, trying our hardest and like putting ourselves out there that we can like really do anything so yeah and then finally you guys obviously the season doesn't quite end on october 18th although it'd be nice if it did after a result <laughs> like this um with a lot of seasons still left how do you guys build on what you guys have been able to do here today earlier part in the season and kind of take the momentum you have from today as we move forward well i think we just need to have a positive mindset and don't give up, even though you know you might think you didn't do good or you didn't get a good time. I think we still need to take the bad things and then make them into something positive.